Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a new miner uh, or an updated miner. It's actually using the NICE hash uh, mining system. So this miner is a little bit different to other miners in the fact that it's a multi-miner and what it does is it mines using your hardware and then it exchanges that using its own marketplace and then it exchanges that directly for Bitcoin. So what you'll find is that you're mining using your GPU miner, but it's actually going to exchange that directly for Bitcoin. Uh, the basic idea is that you should get the best uh, profitability uh, from your actual um, hardware and receive payments directly in Bitcoin versus uh, mining in one coin, selling, going for an exchange, then selling back to Bitcoin and all that kind of business. So it's quite useful. And there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to show you this. It's actually a um, a pre-roll uh, video uh, effectively and because nice hash has a few uh, cool features uh, one of which is benchmarking so what you can do is um, you can start up the actual benchmark and uh, what it does is it measures your actual um, hardware uh, it runs it over uh, several different uh, algorithms and then it will give you a score for each algorithm which you can then use that um, data or information in another uh, video that I'll be doing following up to this one so it's a little bit weird formatting as well. I'm sorry I'm a bit off center. Um, I've got my other camera in the other office. Um, so unfortunately it's a bit off center like it is now, I'm afraid. But hopefully the content will be good. Um, so on the screen behind me, you can see I'm already at the actual nicehash.com website. And I'm just gonna show you through how to download the actual miner, um, install it, get it up and running with it. And then we'll go through the benchmarking and I'll show you how it actually works. So I'm just gonna uh, look away now to the side here. So we're actually on the nicehash.com website and that's where I recommend you go to start this whole process. Uh, you see a green button on the left hand side, sell hashing power, so we wanna select that. Um, then you want the nice hash miner, select that and then it'll just actually uh, open up an actual another window. And uh, from here you can download the nice hash miner for Windows. Um, they do provide regular updates, so basically each time there is a new um, update to like the SG miner or the CC miner, which is integrated within the Nice Hash miner, um, they'll um, the Nice Hash um, obviously release an update as well there um, too. So it's always good to keep up with the most uh, recent updates. Um, last time I checked, there's on 1.6 uh, um, thereabouts, um, so that's kind of where we're starting from today. So that's actually just downloaded now. So now I'm gonna to go to our downloads folder and I open that up. You can see I've got a whole bunch of other uh, things in there. So you wanna select the actual download. It's in zip format. And then we're just gonna go and extract it. That shouldn't take a moment. Okay, and there it is. So it's nice hash minor 1.6.14. So you're just gonna open that up and go inside that folder. So then we've got a few different files in here, but we want just a nice hash miner.exe. So we're gonna double click on that and start it. It says that we need some .NET framework. Um, depending on which uh, miners that you've downloaded in the past, you may already have this installed or not. Um, so I'm gonna download and install this feature. Um, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so the .NET 3.5 uh, framework has been downloaded and installed. So let's uh, close that, we should be able to continue. I think I need to double click on the actual um, miner again. Okay, uh, install language, English. Okay, if you get this error, this is actually for the ETH miner. Um, I've had this error a few times. I don't know exactly uh, what causes it, um, but that file is actually in one of the other installation files for, um, in my case, it's actually one of my uh, Genoil ETH miner folders. So I'm just gonna acknowledge that. Um, and I think I know how to fix it. So that's just, Mm, yes, so in the main folder of this bin folder, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy from my Genoil folder. Um, I think it was that one, wasn't it? Might not be. 
msvcp120. I think that's it. Um, and then I'm just going to close this and just restart it. I'll just show you this in just in case you run into the same problems. Okay, so that's gone through. Um, it's detected our um, CPU, but mm, can't see my um, graphics card in there. So we need to add in a few details. Let me just close the browser here. So this is the main um, kind of information panel, if you like, and the main dashboard. So at the top, you've got um, your service location. I'm uh, in the UK, so I'm gonna select uh, European. And then you've got your Bitcoin address. This is the address that you're going to be receiving your Bitcoin payments to, regardless of what coin you're actually mining. This is where it's going to exchange and pay you back. And then you've just got like an actual reference of a, like a, a miner nickname. In this one, I'm going to use Worker10. Uh, now I'm going to go over to the uh, benchmark because I wanted to show you exactly how this um, works and the useful information that it provides. So the nice hash miner supports um, CPU and GPU mining. So you can see at the top there, we've already got some CPU settings and we've got four different algorithms. So it's gonna, what the benchmark is gonna do is gonna basically do like a test for your CPU and GPUs, depending on exactly which ones you have um, selected there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, we've got this NVIDIA 5 series. So I believe that is, it's not quite clear, but I believe that is the uh, NVIDIA and the CUDA version, um, which I can't actually select for some reason. Okay guys, so sorry about that. Just had to pause the video just very quickly there um, because of a driver problem. So I'm using a NVIDIA GTX 970 and I was using the 34788 drivers uh, previously to start in this video. Um, but unfortunately those drivers don't actually work with um, the nice hash miner. Um, they work really well with the Ethereum ETH miners and the Genoil uh, miner and also Claymore's miner. Uh, but with the nice hash, um, they was causing some problems. So I've just actually updated the uh, drivers and it looks like we're good now. So the drivers that I'm currently using are 368.81. Um, so back on the screen now. And um, you can see we've got our CPU, it's obviously detected as it was before. And you can now see our NVIDIA 0.5 uh, CUDA version, uh, GTX 970, which is exactly what we've got. So now we can continue on from here and hopefully I can show you the uh, benchmark, which is what I wanted to show you just a moment ago. So if we actually select it, uh, if we go to benchmark, you can see that it has already selected them. So this is the actual NVIDIA uh, CUDA version that we're gonna be using. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the benchmark. We're just gonna do a standard benchmark um, and then we're just gonna let it run. What the benchmark is actually going to do is gonna run through each algorithm in turn, doing a quick test, and it's basically gonna score it and give us a hash rate for each one of those uh, devices. Uh, what I'm going to do, um, I'm also gonna select the CPU as well. Um, the CPU is at i7-950, uh, um, overclocked. I think it's currently at about 3.9 gigahertz from memory, uh, approximately. Um, I'll confirm that um, in the video description and whatnot. Uh, also, the graphics card, I'm just gonna take that back down to um, standard clock, so sorry about that. Let me just do that first. Actually, it will already, because I had to do a restart after the driver install, so that's back to standard clocks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this benchmark now. Um, it's going to take quite a while to get through, but what I'll do is I'll time lapse the video so it won't take too long and then we'll come back to it and just um, complete the actual overview and then we'll get on with some actual mining using the nice hash miner. So let's start that now and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and the nice hash uh, benchmark has just uh, completed. So it takes each uh, algorithm in turn, and each one takes about 20 to 30 seconds, some are a bit longer, some are a bit less, um, but it goes to each one in turn, and what it's gonna do is actually give us a uh, performance rating for each one of the algorithms. So if I just select, um, you've got X11 there, eight mega hash, X13, six mega hash, so on and so forth, and it gives you a whole breakdown. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just close that box. So now that our system has been uh, benchmarked, um, the actual, the nice hash miner basically has a reference to know um, exactly uh, how 
our hardware is going to perform uh, for each different algorithm. And um, what it can do is it uses that information to then connect to the actual nice hash uh, network or marketplace to sell our hashing power for the best uh, return. So what I'm going to do now, so that's all been done and we're basically ready to start mining at this point. So let's uh, click the uh, start button. Uh, we've got a invalid worker name for some reason. Um, don't know what that is. Let's have a look at it. Uh, oh, it's only allowed to be up to seven characters long. So let's just go with uh, worker 10. Um, let's click start. Okay, so it's opened up two windows. Uh, one is for the CPU miner and one is for the GPU miner. Obviously, we've got them both selected. And it has uh, chosen for each of them. Let me just move this to the side. And then we'll get a little better look here of exactly what's going on. So at the top window, we've got the uh, CC miner and it is uh, using Lara 2 Revision 2. So that looks like it's mining uh, Vertcoin, um, presumably. Um, I know Vertcoin uh, uses the algorithm. And um, the CPU miner is also using uh, Lara 2 RE. I don't know exactly what the difference is between that two and revision two. I don't know what the difference is there. Um, to be honest, I've not really looked into it. But we're currently uh, CPU mining and uh, GPU mining. Uh, like I say, the nice hash miner is determined that's gonna be yielding the best profit. And what it does is it actually changes over time, so we should always be mining the most uh, profitable coin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave that running for a few minutes, and then I'll just show you on the actual uh, nice hash uh, interface um, how that looks and how you can monitor your miners and things like that. So um, let me just do that now. So on the actual nice hash uh, website, if you go to miners and sellers, if you go to my miner, um, enter your Bitcoin address. Find. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long this takes to update. Um, typically, it'll probably be about five minutes or ten minutes, something like that. So don't be too upset if you see um, the speed is not quite right or it hasn't updated properly just yet. Just give it. Like I say, five or ten minutes and that should update nicely. But I just wanted to show you that um, as well as. So that is basically it. So the nice hash miner is mining. It says that we should be earning about a um, dollar twenty-seven per day at this basis, and that might change um, as it starts hashing a little bit more, and it'll give us a bit better accurate um, reading. Um, so that is it. That is. Um, me using the nice hash miner so there's a couple of takeaways from this if you're looking to mine and you don't want to be mining lots of different coins exchanging them and selling them uh, back for bitcoin this is probably be something that would be quite useful for you if you just want to basically click one miner it's going to take care of the whole um, transactional kind of side of things and you're just going to receive bitcoin in the simplest uh, way possible uh, i will point out that you're probably not going to get the very best uh, return for your efforts um, if you manually do it, you probably will get um, slightly better returns. But this is a quite an easy way to do it. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to say was um, the nice hash miner, the built-in benchmark um, tool that it has is really useful. Um, I will come in on to more of that in my next video, uh, which is more about mining and um, which how to choose which coins you want to mine for the best profits. And that benchmarking uh, component is going to be really useful for that. So I'll come back to that on the next video. So that's it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all your guys' support. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. And um, you know, don't forget to subscribe if this is one of my first videos that you've seen. Um, I'm always uploading videos like this um, pretty much all the time now. So thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.